hello friends welcome to head or tail education today our topic is how to overload extraction and insertion operator in C++ first we understand what is the meaning of operator overloading so operator overloading is one of the best feature of C++ by overloading operator we can give additional meaning to operators like plus minus multiply etc which by default are supposed to work only on standard data type like int float etc first we check very simple program in C++ so I have created the main function and created two variables n1 and n2 of type int now we know that how to read from keyboard so we use the C in insertion operator n1 insertion operator n2 and to print output on monitor using C out extraction operator n1 comma extraction operator n2 okay and return one so this is a very simple program next I have created one class the name is my xy and created private variable of type integer x and y now created member function and constructor as publicly so first I have created my xy0 argument constructor then I have created my xy2 argument constructor ok now next I have created member function show to print value and again I have created one more member function which name is input to input from keyboard ok next the same function main I have created for my class my xy ok here I have created my xy two object m1 and m2 then I have called one member function m1 dot input and m2 dot show for so this is called a member function so now to input and print means to read from keyboard we have to create a member function and to print on monitor we have to create again a member function but I want to use like below directly I am using the C in the insertion operator M1 object again insertion operator M2 object and to print the C out extraction operator M1 object and extraction operator M2 object as like a standard data type but my XY is not a standard data type ok so how to overload insertion and extraction operator for my custom data type ok note the operators that cannot be overloaded are dot double colon and ternary operator ok so dot we cannot overload it because is used for call call member function like m1 dot input m2 dot show ok and double colon is used for give the reference of class name and function belongs to class so let's start here I have created one class which name is C in out XY ok create private variables of type int XY publicly created some member function and constructors so zero argument constructor C in out first I have created then two argument constructor C in out XY means created 
and one more created copy constructor c in out x y taking parameter the class object reference and assign the value one member function i have created void show to print the value of private variables now the definition of function is for insertion and extraction operator so first you have to use for this friend keyword next the return type is o stream reference the keyword using operator now extraction operator and receiving two parameters here o stream reference and c in out xy class reference okay same as like using the keyword friend now i stream object reference okay now keyword operator this is insertion operator and i stream reference and then c in out xy reference so only this structure you can this function structure you can overload insertion and extraction operator next first we write the body of member function show okay so this is the return type void this is the class name c in out x y and this is double colon operator and this is function name show okay so c out new line x and y value okay print now next the body of insertion and extraction operator so return type o stream reference means c out object reference o stream reference operator extraction operator parameter passing o stream reference o c in out x y reference z this is the class object reference now o the extraction operator print z dot x y extraction operator print means z dot y okay and return type o reference next to create it for input keyboard so written type is i stream reference using keyword operator the extraction sorry insertion operator i stream reference object and c in out x y reference object okay so c out this is new line enter x and y and i stream insertion operator z dot x insertion operator z dot y and return object of i string so this is the body of insertion and extraction operator next i have created a function for our class so in main i have created object of c in out x y class the a by default passing parameter 67 b by default passing parameter 23 create object c by default value 0 create object d equal to b this time i am using copy constructor so b value is assigned directly to d okay now call the member function to print value so by using this a dot show function d dot show function okay this is print value by using member function now this is the print value by using our extraction overloading function so c out extraction operator endl means new line extraction operator a extraction operator b so you have seen here this is a and b is the object of class c in out xy this is custom class object okay not a standard data type but by using the overloading extraction or insertion operator we can use like a standard data type so c in for in input insertion operator c okay and c out for extraction operator c so this is the operator overloading of insertion and extraction operator in c++ now check the demo of code 
so this is the class according to our slide so name is this time c in out x y okay so constructor two argument constructor copy constructor now the function signature this is called friend friend function okay so this is also called friend function and this is the for c out means i using o string means output string reference and our class object reference and for c in i using i stream reference okay and our class reference so return type c out or written type what is out o stream and i stream o stream is written for output display and i stream is read from keyboard okay now all are same the function code also same according to our slide now check the function main result okay so first i compile this program now no error now execute then run so this is the output now first you have seen the object a 67 value is showing here b 23 value is showing here okay so this is a this time i am calling a dot show and d dot show again i am using the c out directly without using dot show function so a and b is printing you have seen 67 for a and 23 for b okay now again i am checking what is the value of c and d so c out c and d so you have seen the c by default 0 and d value equal to 23 because i am using here a copy constructor for this now is waiting for input here you have seen c in using standard type so waiting for keyboard so i am passing the variable my any value means like this 23 and 67 okay and press enter so c out is using c so 23 and 67 so this is again the example of operator overloading for insertion and extraction operator for my custom class okay so tell summary we learned what is operator overloading how to write function for operator overloading in c++ operator overloading is one of the best feature of c++ by overloading operator we can give additional meaning to operators like plus minus multiply etc which by default are supposed to work only on standard data type like int float etc unary operators binary operators logical operators and insertion and extraction operator okay we can overload hope tutorial will help to understand operator overloading in c++ with demo so thanks to watch head or tell education